What happens when DreamWorks greenlights Disney's rejected project? You're about to find out on this episode of the PNS Watch series. Today we'll be watching The Prince of Egypt, which was released in 1998. It stars Val Kilmer, Ray Fiennes, and Michelle Pfeiffer, and it was directed by Brenda Chapman, Steve Hickner, and Simon Wells. I grew up watching this movie as, you know, a Jewish kid. I've never seen this movie before. It's not because I'm not Jewish, it's just <laughs> I've never gotten around to it. For a movie that is about Middle Eastern Jewish people and ancient Egyptians, there are a hell a lot of white non-Jews that voice the characters. I don't know if you heard, Michelle Pfeiffer is in this movie. <laughs> this is about Moses, and it's basically the story of Exodus from the Bible. Yep. Or the Old Testament, yeah. technically. Jeffrey Katzenberg in the 90s was the chairman of the Disney Animation Department. He wanted to make this movie for a really long time, and Michael Eisner, who was the CEO of the Disney company, kept giving him a rejection every single time. Katzenberg went to Spielberg and DreamWorks and Spielberg was like, hell yeah, let's do this. So then they made a movie about the Jews leaving Egypt. This is the reason that we celebrate Passover, which is why this video is coming out before Passover. Let's get started. Yeah. Now we have seen like the first couple minutes. Like it's very scary because they're going around and killing babies. And the mom sings because she's sad. Because he's gonna get fed to the crocodiles in the Nile. Deliver us. That blade was awfully clean for killing a baby. Maybe because it's a kid's movie. The woman that plays Yocheved sung her part of the song in like 17 different languages. Yeah. This movie was the most expensive animated feature ever made at the time. And for a fledgling animation group to have made the most expensive animated movie of all time and still recover the money and keep making movies is amazing. I'm guessing we meet his siblings again? Yes. Is there any weird like incest that happens accidentally? No, this is not Oedipus. This baby's not getting any kind of concussion? I'm guessing that was foreshadowing, like her holding the baby and the kid being like, Mom, pay attention to me! Oh, come on! Where's your sense of fun? Oh, it's fun you want! That's Ray Fiennes? Mm-hmm. Wow. When Ramses and Moses are racing each other at the beginning of the film, one of the carts smashes some sort of board game two passersby are playing. The game is authentic and historically accurate. It was called Sinet and can be found in scrolls and wall paintings, and one set was even found in King Tut's tomb. That is Hotep and Hoy. Those yeah, are those Steve the Martin and Martin Short. Man, what jerks these kids are. Yep. <laughs> Why do the gods torment me with such reckless, destructive, blasphemous sons? That is Patrick Stewart! Yes. It's really funny that the one who's abnormally tall is Martin Short, and then the one who is very short is Steve Martin, who's exceptionally tall. I love the framing of having the pharaoh in profile and then also his statue in the distance. Mm -hmm. His whole point in this movie is to push legacy onto his son. Why is it that every Every time you start something, I'm the one who ends up in trouble. I propose that the high priests offer tribute to their new regent. Tribute comes in the form of my favorite character in the movie. It's not his sibling, right? No. Okay. We offer you this delicate desert flower. This is Michelle Pfeiffer's character. Have her dried up. <laughs> Sent to Prince Moses Chambers. I didn't miss that, right? There were some definite, like, sexual implications. Yes. yes. Good for her. Yeah. I hate to say this, but like, it's probably a lot better that she got sent to Moses' room. Definitely is. It's the hair from the sibling. The hair? The sibling hair. <laughs> there's Sandra Bullock. That's Sandra Bullock? And Jeff Goldblum. Is their mom dead? Yes. Oh, that sucks. I can imagine that the life expectancy of a Jewish slave in ancient Egypt is not very long. All I have a wanted. You know how every movie has the I want song? This is the what do I want song. <laughs> And if anybody doubts it, they, they couldn't, couldn't be more wrong. This is pretty cool. Oh, is cool. he gonna dream? Yes. And he dreams in wall paintings. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. God sends him this dream to be like, yes, okay, the woman you met was right about what's happening. It would make sense that God sends him the dream mm -hmm. because that's usually what happens with dreams and God because I think that God is too like powerful to talk to anybody directly. Why would you do that and then like commission a giant wall of it? So the thing about whips is that like they're strong enough to break the skin. Mm -hmm. A couple of those and like that man is going to get an infection. Oh snap. <gasps> yep. Oh my God. Who did this? My bad! 
He's like, nope, I can't. Oh no, I can't deal with the implications of this right now. I mean, I also feel really bad for Moses because he clearly didn't mean to push him over the edge, yep. but like, yikes. I just killed a man. We can take care of that. We can blame it on one of the slaves. I have a bad feeling that this is going to backfire on you. Moses has God on his side. I know, but he doesn't know that right now. He He's just gonna to run out into the desert really? and die like an idiot. This movie's not even halfway over. He's not gonna die. <laughs> He's like, please just kill me. Just end the torment. Uh -huh. Camel has no rider. It's just a camel in the, the middle of the desert by itself. You know, it really looks like a plot device. The movie's just like, Moses has lost the will to live <laughs> and now we need a camel to rescue him. <laughs> Are those her sisters? Yes. At least there's water in that well. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I, I've seen this part on Tumblr. And that girl who escaped is just like, Listen, bitch. <laughs> yes. You're my turf now. <laughs> That's why she's my favorite. You. <laughs> Retribution. That's why Papa says she'll never get married. <laughs> oh my God. I've done nothing in my life worth honoring. First you rescue Zipporah from Egypt. And she kind of rescues herself from Egypt, but you know, yeah. okay, fine, whatever. Look at your life through heaven's eyes. This is uh, Moses' growing up in one song song. So now he's a Midian. Yeah, he lives out with them for like at least 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Oh, see, now he's hot. I'm just joking. This is where like you see all the pictures of him on Tumblr. What are they arguing about? They're not arguing about anything. They're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, a couple scenes ago, she was going to be your sex. You know. I've got a bad feeling because a goat is leading him somewhere. So welcome to the burning bush. The burning bush is God. So the voice of God, to avoid controversy, was played by all the major actors. The actors Actors were told to whisper the lines so none would dominate the performance, but by the time they got around to having Val Kilmer read his lines, they realized they needed someone to be louder so that you could hear what it was saying. You can still hear the rest of the cast whispering beneath Kilmer's voice in God's lines. I am that I am. You've chosen the wrong messenger. That shows up again and again. Everybody who ever gets to talk to God is like, no, oh no, you have got the wrong dude. He looks so much older, but she looks the same. You know, maybe it's not 10 years in the movie, but it's- Yeah, should be you're right. He's gotten a lot older. In like like nobody months. else has. Yeah. Oh, I guess he's going to see the Pharaoh. Yeah. Well, they just let him in? You think they still recognize him? Ramesses does. That's Ramesses' son. What? Yeah. There are like inconsistencies, but there has to be a few years at least that he has been gone because Ramesses has a son. And that he is our brother Moses, the prince of Egypt. He's like, um, I'm not really into that anymore. Something and gonna happen? Snake's death. Oh my god! Ra -mut -nut -pata -him -tata. You're just naming all of them. Ooh, two snakes. We made two snakes. <laughs> and I imagine that the god snake is gonna eat the two snakes. Yes. Aw, what quality father-son bonding time. A greater Egypt than that of my father. Yeah, it's way better because now there's two statues. I'm so great at being pharaoh. His hands bore the blood of thousands of children. Slaves. Still human beings. Tell your people, as of today, their workload has been doubled. Ooh, that's not good. Are the plagues going to show up soon? Because yes. uh, I think the plagues need to show up soon. God will not abandon you, so don't you abandon us. Miriam's one of those like side characters that gets one personality trait. It just happens to be compassion, and so you like her. Where are they going? To the Nile. Let my people go! There's a nice echo here, and there's like nothing for the sound to bounce off of. All right, God, this now is, is the time to act. Moses looks hypnotized. I mean, I'd be too. I have a bag of flags. Oh, uh, what the? All the water turns to blood. That's the first plague. Ooh, that's not gonna be good for the crowd. Pharaoh can take away your very lives. This is not an inspiring speech. But there is one thing he cannot take away from you. Your faith? Your faith. Called it! Okay, the next one is frogs. Everywhere. They're everywhere. Next one is fleas, which I think is this one. And then the oh, cows God. die. And then there's Locusts. buggies. All kinds of bugs. Lots of bugs. There's lots of bugs. Uh, there's hail, except that that is fire. It's supposed to be hail. Then there's boils everywhere. Let my people go. The last one is darkness. Taxes. Uh, and then there's darkness. Just all dark. 
So now they're just in total darkness all just, the time. It's... Yeah, where the Jewish people live is totally sunny. You were always getting me into trouble. But then you were always there to get me out of trouble again. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to get you out of trouble now, but just, you're not listening yeah. to me. Isn't that the man who did all this? Yes, but one must wonder why. For freedom? We were having a good moment until your kid ruined it. <gasps> Locust, why? What's worse than the plagues? Children. Children. <laughs> You Hebrews have been nothing but trouble. You Hebrews. You wanna know what the last plague is? Children. Babies are gonna rain down. I thought that was like a boil with a face. And I'm like, all the boils <laughs> grow mustaches? You wanna know why it's called Passover? God comes down in this cloud of light and he passes over all of the houses that have lamb's blood strewn across the top of the door because those are the houses of the Jewish people. But he kills all of the firstborn children in the houses that do not have lamb's blood. I mean, I guess it's, a, it's an eye for an eye. Ramesses is only holding out because he's too proud. He's like, I guess this was kind of my nephew. Think of it this way, man. All of these kids got to die in their sleep. Unlike what your dad did, he threw babies to crocodiles and those babies were probably in a lot of pain before they died. It doesn't make Moses any happier to like see the man that he once considered his brother to be in this kind of terrible pain. Stephen Schwartz actually won an Academy Award for When You Believe. And of course, there's the really famous version that Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey sing together. And we're at the Red Sea. They're like, what do we do now? Yeah. What a dick move. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, you guys can leave so that I can rally you all in one place where my people can kill you. That looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. And it took two years to animate. Most Disney movies take about two to four years to animate in entirety. This scene alone took two years. Okay, but did you see the whale? Yes, I in saw the, the whale. Is the Jews gonna run, 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 the Pharaoh who sucked, sucked, sucked. Ramesses is either about to get trampled or drown. And this is Israel. I don't think they made it to Israel yet because that's just Moses with the Ten Commandments now. Now there's a lot more of them. The Pharaoh stopped killing all their babies every couple of years. Yeah. So, Paige, what was the moral of the Prince of Egypt? Don't enslave people. Oh yeah, that's a good moral. <laughs> Babies are the worst. Don't have them. Because if you do and you get enslaved, that's gonna be the first thing to go. And then if you are the enslaver, it will be the last thing to go. Yikes. Which Poetic worse. justice. Don't enslave people, not just because it's it's not good and you shouldn't do it, but also because if you do and you do it for long enough, God's gonna bring down some locusts and cows and babies on you. And that's not good. All right. Thank you so much for watching The Prince of Egypt with us. Happy if Passover. Yeah. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite part of The Prince of Egypt was. Or if you've never seen it, I don't know what your favorite holiday movie is. If you're not already subscribed to The Princess and the Scrivener, please do so down below, especially if you would like to see more videos on Disney, intersectional feminism, pop culture critiques, PNS watch series, and more. Sarah, we'll see you next week. Let's watch Beauty and the Beast Chanted Christmas. Let's watch The Drunk Disney.